What's up, y'all? It's Coach Justin. What's up, y'all? It's Coach Justin. We're here again at the Sit Down Podcast. We have a very, very special guest. Um, somebody who's like an older brother to me. I, I want to say I met him in the eighth grade. Um, and no, I was eight. Who's eight? Okay, okay. So I'm going to throw here. Okay. Um, so, met him in the eighth grade and uh, he immediately, you know, started treating me like a younger brother. So, we got him. Got him. Robert Owens, better known as two other <laughs> Man, it's going good. It's a pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, man. First of all, um, obviously, you know, when we see you, we show you all all the love in the world. Um, Yeah. And I know my generation, a bunch of me and my friends are one of our favorite players. Like, to to watch back then, and we always talk about how good you were and how effortless it was for you. Um, But let's start off taking it back a little bit um, about you growing up. So, like, you know, where you grew up, what middle school you went to, and then we'll just start from there. Cool, cool. Well, um, it all started, not too many people know this, man. Um, it all started in uh, San Francisco. Uh, I was born in San Francisco. Um, I, was, I was in the city to about, uh, about eight years old. So I came out here at eight years old. I stayed, we moved right by the lake. And um, from the lake, we was there for about two or three years. And then we had went to uh, Brookdale, okay. right by uh, Fruitvale and uh, Bret Hart. Um, went to Fruitvale, that's when, you know, start playing who, and then it all started when I got to Bret Hart. Um, um when, did somebody, like, put the ball in your hands, or something you kind of just stumbled on? Yeah, nah, when I was, uh, when I was young, um, I had the little Fisher-Price court, and I think I had that court, I kid you not, to about, I got it, like, it was like my third birthday, I had it till I was, like, seven years old. Wow. The same court, like, yeah. the same court, play with the, the rim was cracking, I used to tape it. <laughs> No, real talk. Like, that's how much I was into the game. And it was crazy because back then, not saying I, I missed the childhood, but I was just so into ball, like, really? to playing basketball. I, ne- I didn't really watch cartoons like that. I didn't really. Is this on your own will or somebody like. This was. Like, it was, steering you in this direction? It was, no, it was, it was mainly my own will, but watching my dad play and my uncle, oh, stuff wow. like that, just in, like, right outside where uh, the projects I used to live in in uh, San Francisco. Go right down the stairs, make a right, a left, excuse me, and it's a, it's a, a outside basketball court right okay. there. I couldn't even shoot the ball. I was trying to shoot with my uncles and my, my dad and all that. I used to go to the free throw line, shoot it backwards. Oh, <laughs> I kid you not. I used to go to the uh, to, to the free throw line or wherever out on the court and shoot it backwards. And then um, just I don't know. It's just a, a love at first sight. You know what I'm saying? Like just seeing my dad and them play. It was just something I wanted to do. That's so cool. I just just went for it. So when you moved to the 30s, um, what you ended up going to Bro? How yeah. was that when you went to Bro? Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to rewind just a yeah. little bit. I'm going to go um, to Fruitvale. My fifth grade year, uh, it was crazy because I was, I was hooping there, and it was like, it's kind of where I was kind of like recruited to go to these middle schools. And I'm like, I'm from the city, you know what I mean? I'm still new to the town and all that. I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't even know about AAU basketball. I didn't know about none of that type of stuff. You know, just coaches like what, what, high, what uh, middle school I'm going to and all that. But Bret Hart is right up the street, so I end up going to uh, Bret Hart. And um, Bret Hart, I'm not gonna lie, man, that was that was the beginning of my the journey of 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 uh, Chew the Hooper or you know the you know Chew. Let, let me ask you this. Yeah. So when you start to um, obviously by fifth grade you start to get better. Right. When did that kind of switch for you? Because you just went from shooting backwards to now you got people wanting you to come play for middle school. So it switched, um, just to rewind a little bit back, um, in, in the city growing up, it was also a wreck right next door. And I played all sports. I played football, basketball, baseball, all that. Um, but basketball, it caught my eye, caught my attention. And I was always playing with older cats. I never liked playing with people my age. It was just, it wasn't like I'm just all, all better. Right. It's just I wanted to play with the big, the big boys. I wanted to play with my dad now. I didn't play with them, but I played, you know, a little bit, a little bit older than me. And I don't know, the game just came easy. I just start understanding things that other kids weren't understanding, you know what I mean? I start flinging the ball for a minute, then it start forming into a little jumper. Then I just, it, it's, I, I learned the, a certain technique as a shooter. You shoot the ball, you know what I mean? It was just like, as a youngster, I just knew how to shoot the ball. It was just, it was weird. Yeah, like it, it was weird. People ask me that all the time, like, man, how did you, how did you like learn how to shoot? Like, right. Well, I don't know. Right. It just kind of happened. <laughs> and then once I realized I could shoot, yeah. then I started putting it and working to get better. 
get the reps up. And right, get right. Right, so yeah, that's that's where um that's where the gear switched for me. Like when I started playing with older kids and stuff like that, and I just felt like things was getting, I wouldn't say easy. I, I, I still was a youngster. You started, but, you started took a long, and you started, right, you right. started making a couple shots here. And right, and that's, all it, you that's all it took. That's all it took. Right, say, Ooh, so right. So now you're starting to get that confidence. So I know exactly what right. you're um, So who did you, who did you play for at Burrow? Uh, Brailhart. Um, I played for Coach Brown. Okay. I played for Coach Brown. Um, just for a second, speak on Coach Brown, man. Coach Brown, honestly, uh, the first person to ever take basketball from me, because uh, I was, it was, I think it was sixth, seventh grade. Um, I'd have had a grades. You know, he was strict about the grades, about the 2.0 stuff like that. And one, one uh, semester, one marking period, I didn't make the grades. And you know, I'm the best at the school, so I'm like. I'm young, so I'm like, Coach, can you just go talk to one of my, my teachers? I'm like, no. What grade are you in? I was in the, it was the sixth or seventh grade. And I want to touch on something on the sixth grade too. Yeah. But um, yeah, he, he took it away from me, and that was the best thing he ever could have done for me. You know what I mean? Because after that, I understood why. Especially as when I got a little older, I understood why. To this day, I thank him, I thank him for that. I thank him for that. And, um, that's why it's important today that these kids understand that. It's called student athlete for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So just whoever watches, just take that serious, man, for real. Yeah. Take that serious. It, it'll make it like when you take care of business early, it makes it yeah. easier at the end. Like right. if, you, if your grades are, are good all the way through, you know, all the way through, mm -hmm. then you don't have to try to fix up the right. at the end to become right. That's dope. Um, so what did you want to touch on? Oh, um, in sixth grade, when I when I so when I first got to sixth grade, um, it was a whirlwind. It was it was it was crazy. Like you know, it was so it was this other cat that um, that he was the he was the talk of the town. Like he he was the best in. It. He looked like a grown man to me. I'm just like, what is he doing in sixth grade? I know a lot of people know him as Jeremy Timms. Oh, I don't know Jeremy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at you this dude. Somebody. Yeah, I'm like, bro, where is he? Where did he come from? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, no sixth grade going on. Mind you, we both in the sixth grade, so. As, as the year go on, everybody like the best two sixth graders in the town is chewing, uh, chewing uh, Jeremy, this and that. And then it was like, who better out of Jeremy and Chew, this and that. Then it, it was, we, yeah, we played again because I don't know if you, you know about the intramurals. That's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the intramurals, that's where it all went down at. Okay. That's where it all went down. And that was like, now that I think about it. So where did he go? Uh, I'm, not, he, I'm not sure where he went, but we, unfortunately, a couple of years after that, we lost right. Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's it's, it's he's crazy. Yeah, that's yep. That's, yep. He, he's staying around that area. Yeah, I used to be with him sometime. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, doing the intramurals, man. That's when everybody showcased their talent. It was it was genius from our uh, sixth grade coach, man, because he, man, whoever wanted to play could, could come and play, get on the team, and he just put it together. You, you know about the the uh, yeah. intramurals, and everybody just play, have, have some fun. <laughs> He made it fun by keeping the stats, right, scoring right, leaders, right. rebound leaders. So it was, it was sixth grade playing like we was in the NBA or something. Yeah, like yeah, I averaged yeah. this again. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy, but it was, it was fun. It got us I to. Had like a, I forgot how they did it, but I remember me and he was on the same team. Yeah. You know, we didn't go ahead and had a little lottery pick and all that. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. It was fun, though. Um, but yeah, that's when it all started, and we we used to we always played. Coach Brown knew not to put us on the same team, so we always went against each other. It was fun. I won some, he won some. It was other teams that beat us. We beat other teams. It was fun. But my team every year we won a championship. <laughs> we won the championship though. But it, it was it was fun to compete though and understand what competing was like coming under at the next level. So it was it was cool. Yeah. Are you playing AAU at this point, or you just at this point? Um, believe it or not, I feel like. I started playing AAU when I was in the eighth grade, seventh, eighth grade. Um, I, I didn't know about AAU, and when I heard about it, I'm just like, well, well. And I told my mom about it. She's like, I'm sure you got to pay a lot of money for that. So I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, I don't know what team I'm going to play for or whatever. And then it's like the people like trying to, re trying to recruit me to come to their team. This is like the summertime, like end of the school year. Mm -hmm. Even during the school year when you're playing at the little league and the, the, school, the school year and all that. I'm not, I'm not really knowing what's going on. I'm just like, all right, you know, I'm ask my mom, whatever. But man, getting introduced to AU was was a. Uh, that's when you. That's when it got real. You know, I played for the Rebels. I played for the Rebels. I'm Daniel Martin. 
Okay. I'm sure you had D Martin, yeah. D Martin, y'all know D Martin. But um, yeah, man, D Martin, he 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 was a he he was a um a great teacher, man, for real. I I hear a great. He can ball too, though. He he can hoop. Seriously, though, he can hoop. But um, yeah, D Martin. Um, I got introduced to the Rebels through one of my best friends, uh, John Howe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Howe, he, this dude. Where's Johnny? So we met, where did we meet? We met with the Rebels. Okay. With, so matter of fact, let me rewind. We, I was playing the Berkeley, the Berkeley little, the Berkeley League. Uh, what is it called? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was playing the Yap, and I was just, just dominant. You know what I mean? Dominant. I didn't even know John at all. And he used to be like, bro, you should come play with us. To play. I'm like, what, what team? What are you talking about? I didn't know what he was talking about or whatever. And Dan, you know Daniel. Yeah. He's like, yeah, man, so, what, so where do you live? <laughs> so we can talk to you. <laughs> so I'm just like, dude, yeah, come to my house. I don't know nothing about You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. So uh, they end up find, you know, getting my address or whatever, coming to the house, talking to moms. They used to come all the time, like all the time. And then, you know, just persistent with it, consistent. You know what I mean? So I just, I tried it out. And it was the best decision I ever made. You know what I'm saying? To this day, I'm still friends with them guys and all that type of stuff, which is cool. But yeah, it, it, it was a, uh, that was a good experience, man. I mean, you were in middle school at Rebel. Who, other than Jeremy Teams, who else was nice around Oakland that you were here in Rebel? Um, around Oakland. Um, you know what? A lot of them cats was going to my school, going to Bret Hart School. So it was like Lil' Rich. Uh, my, my sixth grade year, uh, Tim Pierce was there. Okay. So Tim Pierce was there. Um, it was a lot of other cats. That's when Tim Pierce was on the rise. He was, you know what I'm saying? He, I'm like, who is this dude? Like, you know, he's down. <laughs> For real, I'm like, but is he like, what, he's, he's, he's done? He's like, what, what's going on? But yeah, Tim Pierce. Um, and it's crazy because I didn't never, I never like hearing about these other people. I really didn't like, it didn't really mean anything. To me. I didn't know, you know, what I'm, I didn't. So now I know that that's the, that's just the culture of Oakland. But like, if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's why I love it. Like I, I can't. I don't know what to say. That's why I love it, man. Uh, yeah, like that's. I, I don't really know too many people around until I got into the AU scene. Like who was around, who was raw, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you let me ask you this: When you got to AU, was it like a reality check? Like, damn, I, I, definitely I, a reality. So Go ahead. I'm it, sorry. Go ahead. Was it like I'm good, but I'm, I got some work to do? Like I ain't as good as I thought I was. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. And then when that happens, especially man, I feel like especially being out here in Oakland. If you got that tough skin, if you if you can acknowledge that, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do all right. You're gonna be all right. And that's what I did. You know, what I, mean? I wasn't like the, always the outspoken, the, the rah rah rah. You know, what I'm saying I just let my game speak for itself. But that's exactly what happened. The OAL, hey, you seen made me realize, like, dude, you, you feel me? You guys, because this is like mixed teams around everybody good and you know what I'm saying, like one through five, one through eight. But it was a fun reality check though, like to where I, it was like you really competing out there. You, you know what I'm saying? So. But the, hey, the one thing about the AAU scene, man, it, it was when I started getting up there in the AAU scene, I always wanted to play for the Oakland Soldiers. Did you ever? Never. Really? Never. Was that a choice or did you never have opportunity? It wasn't really my choice. I could have played, but it was just, you know, it was just other, other cats. You know what I mean? I just, I was just the underdog. I never, you know what I'm saying? I never was took serious, I feel like. But. Did you feel like that back then or did you feel like that now? Back then, back then, because I, I was, Torture. yeah, like, you know what I'm saying, like. I feel like that's why when we see you, we show you so much love, and I think yeah. some of you are, you know, I'll stop, 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 but we do it because we agree with you. Like, I feel yeah. like you were one of the most underrated dudes. I definitely agree. In that whole, but it was because y'all was so stacked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, I, it was people I, everywhere, like, that's what I'm everywhere. saying, everywhere, it's, it's, everywhere. I was talking to, um, <clears throat> Somebody on the show though. It might have been a rental. It might have been a rental. I was talking to somebody though about the fact that I felt the same way because my class was so stacked with yeah. Gary Winningham, Will Chair, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shahid, uh, Alin, Chris Brew. Like we was yeah. we, we had Ken Ransom for like I don't want to forget nobody either, but yeah. we had like like all yeah. and I was nice and I got a little bit of respect. Right, but it was right, like right. I never felt like it was it's probably similar how you felt right. like damn, like I'm out here handling business. Nobody right. can just walk. And it wasn't. And let me go back to the soul. It ain't no. So for the so I played for the for like a spinoff for the Shakur Village. Oh, I remember. Well, Hashim and I. Yeah, I played with them. So it was soldiers affiliated. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? 
but it, it was no no disrespect to the, to the soldiers organization nothing like that because yeah, no, still my my boys fam and all that but it was just what i'm saying is this somebody i wanted to play for you know what I mean? Because I knew I was that caliber of player that I could play for that team. You know what I'm saying? So and this is middle school or high school? This was um, middle school and high school. Okay. Like my eighth grade. Yeah. There's still kids like I coached. Uh, when I got back, first I got back in the coach, I was coaching a little bit yeah. crazy. That's everybody's, to this day, that's everybody's team. Well, I want to play for this Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, I mean, shout out to them. That's the right, coach. right. Right, and it was still cool because we I still competed around them, you know what I mean? I played mm-hmm. tournaments against them and stuff right. like that. I just wanted to play against the best, really. That's what I really wanted yeah, back then. And I did though, you right. know, not not to like I said, shoot them down, nothing like that, but it's still everything still worked out for the best. That's everything dope. worked so out. So let me ask you this, did you always know you were gonna go to Scotland, like no matter what, or was it a change you I'ma say I always knew I was gonna go there because that's where I was scheduled to go. Right. Well, like, you know what I mean, the that's addresses I and all that. Yeah. So but seeing all these other schools, it was crazy because when I was done at Bret Hart, um, my, my last year I had some, I was short some credits. So I had to go to Ralph Bunch. Okay. Not sure anybody, I mean, I'm sure people are familiar with it, but um, I went to Ralph Bunch, so I didn't go straight to a high school. Okay. So I also had to spend a year, a year there. When I graduated from there, that's when I was gonna go to high school. Right. So I was recruited out of like going into high school so i was i was enrolled nobody noticed i was enrolled in tech really i was gonna go to tech nobody knows this oh wow that's crazy. coach mcgavitt he came up he came up and gave me my papers himself came oh, up wow. to Raul bunch to get mcgavitt you know i ain't lying <laughs> no i ain't lying but um came and gave my so i was going to tech and that's somewhere i wanted to go get a powerhouse you know what i mean i wanted to go do my thing and then um I talked to my brother, my family, my mom, and all that type of stuff. They're like, he might as well just go where he ain't gonna go, end up going. He was gonna go wherever I go, but. Um, so, I forgot what happened, but long story short, I ended up going to Skyline. Um, I probably was talked into going to Skyline with friends and all that, so you know how that is. Right, right, everybody, you know, so, yeah. So I went there, and that's when, and that's when a whole, the, the next level started, you know what I mean? So. Um, so when you went to when you went to Montreal, did you lose a year of high school eligibility? I did. Okay. I did. I lost one year. That, that, that killed me, man. Um, so when I got to my high school that I was going to, which is Skyline, I started the tenth grade. Started tenth grade. Um, every, oh, Skyline. Skyline? Yeah. Oh yeah. They was. The, I was. I was going into some to some talent. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kena Payton. Kena Payton. Um, Stack. They had Tariq Akaro. Um, yeah, Kena Kena Haywood. Serious. Um, yeah, we. Yeah, so many people, bro. So many people. Um, yeah, it, it was. That, that, but that was our band player, though, Kena Payton. When you graduated? Oh six. Oh yeah. six. You are younger than Q and Kellogg. Yep. I'm I'm younger than Q and Kellogg. So where? By one year. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, so oh, where, at, at what point did you um, start to hear about these dudes? Like? Man, um, yeah, I was supposed to be mention this. Uh, so back, back in 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, um there was a there was older, what well, a year older or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, as a year as a as a few years went by, sixth, seventh grade, um, I think it was like more brought to my attention when I was like eighth, ninth grade, mm-hmm. something like that. Um, like, true, bro, you play like Q. You, you, you like play like Kellogg, too, this and that. And I'm just like, I, do, I don't know who these people is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really don't. Uh, I, was, I was telling you this. I, I had went, that's when I was, like, hearing about the OIL, like, mm-hmm. what I'm about to get myself into, you know what I mean? So, I'm, uh, so I, it was a game when I was at uh, Ralph Bunch. It's in West Oakland, not too far from uh, McClellan's. I'm not sure the distance or whatever. But um, this is West Oakland, you know what I mean? I live in East Oakland. You know, I'm, I'm like, damn, I don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I want to go to this game, but I don't know who to go with. So I kid you not, I, uh, at the school, I called my mom and she let me go. I think I told her I was going with somebody or something. <laughs> Man, I walked I walk to that game myself, paid my little admission fee, sat down. I seen a few people I know from, you know, from Hoop or whatever. And I, I watched the game with Mac and Tech. And I was introduced to both worlds, Kellogg and Q. When I tell you, bro, I'm like, I'm like, so y'all, I mean, y'all got to be playing, right? Like, you feel me? Like, 
I'm like, why are y'all preparing me? I know I, I'm, I'm, you know, cool yeah. or whatever, but it's just like, damn, it's like, it was much appreciated. I much appreciate it now, but right, it's right, because right. like looking back, like, damn, I was, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's love right there. That's all that everybody was giving me was love. And um, when I'm watching this game, bro, I'm like, like, man, I don't know if I'm, a, you know, if I'm ready for the OEL like that. Because it was like, when I tell y'all, man, when I, the, the OEL to me, it reminds me of like a cage. Like you're in a cage and nobody's in that cage, but they, everybody's right outside of it. And they're trying to prevent you to, from missing a shot. Every, you know what I mean? If you, if you ain't at home, you're in trouble. <laughs> Especially if you're at Mac. <laughs> Especially if you're at Mac, bro. And that... And for me, that was the most favorite. That was my best place to play. Like, because if you, if you, if you, if you, if you was a little frightened, a little anything, you ain't gonna make it. Yeah, yeah, You're not gonna make it. it. Yeah, yeah, you. The for sure, for know. sure, they for sure gonna let you know. <laughs> they gonna let you know. Damn, I, man, just thinking about that is just, man, bringing back chills. That's dope. So let's huh. get, let's get the small boy year. How yeah. did you play? Varsity, JV. How did that go? Yeah. So um, who was the coach? Uh, it was Curtis Webster. Curtis Webster, Kurt, Coach Kurt. Um, Maybe if I see him. Yeah, you probably, you probably recognize him. Uh, his sons have played for the team, too. Um, yeah, so I uh, tried out. Um, I made varsity my first year. Um, the, that, that whole situation was, I didn't like it at the time because I was like, I'm new to the team, I'm on the bench, I'm like, you know, I want to play. But in all honesty, that was the best thing for me to sit on that bench and, and see what was going on, see what I was getting myself into. Um, because during that year, I'm, I'm going up against, I'm, I'm guarding Keenan Payton every every practice. You know what I'm saying? So he he he, he getting in me every day. So I'm, he, but, he's two years old. Yeah. So he was a senior when I first got there. So he was leaving. So the situation was cool for me. It was it was on a, it was on the up and up. So um, that whole year, you know, he, he busting my ass every day. You know, I'm, I'm hating it. You know what I'm saying? I'm hating it. I want to, you know what I mean? I want to try. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn. But it was crazy because he, this is why I call him my bro to this day. Um, I start end up like riding to school with him and stuff. He had a talk with me. He was just telling me like, just be confident. Like we see something in you. Cause like, you know, I, I was one of them kids. I like, like this was before I made, you think I made the team? Like, what you think, Coach? Like, you, you know, just one of them. They're like, bro, watch out. Bro. Just, like, free throws, bro. Like, you tripping. Like, basically, tell I'm good, but just keep working. You know what I'm saying? So I was one of them. But he just always used to just, you know, like, one of them. Like, you know, you're going to be straight, little boy. You're going to be good. And sure enough, all that guarding him, you know, I'm, I'm getting my little layers, my little shots or whatever. But him is really, you know what I mean, exposing everything I need to work on, which is a, which is a blessing, man, for real, because he got me better. And when I was done with that year, I ended up being, I believe, the Oreo MVP. My yeah. next year, so it was my 11th grade year. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it was, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. It, I was like that too. I'm like, yeah. bro, it was no, the way it happened. And it was, you know what? It was crazy how I was talking about before when I went to that mat game. Like, am I really ready for this? Because it was like so fast paced. The 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 game was cool, but the crowd, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm like, nah, man. I, I don't know, like I don't know, but um, but sitting on that bench and watching my team playing, seeing them teams come and we going to them and all that, me watching and getting in for my little you know clean up minutes or whatever, it helped me tremendously that next year because I was just so comfortable, like it, it was just who, like you know what I mean? It felt like I was just out there, and it, I think my success came from not just my God-given talent or whatever like that, but it was just I was having fun. You know, so I was just, I, I was having a blast. Like, I adjusted to it, you know what I mean? I, I was just having fun. I was just having fun out there. So your sophomore year, how long did you guys come away with your Um, I don't remember, but I know we, we, we was, we was so, so I think we was, I think we was above 500, I think. Okay. I think somewhere around there. Um, but I know it was to a point to where my, when I, when, when I got the keys, I wanted to, you know what I mean? I wanted to put that statement, like, you know what I mean? Like, Cause I used to, cause that that whole year it was like skyline was on a, the back burner. You know, we wasn't, with, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, Tech Tech was the the powerhouse. Mac, I think uh, Castle was kind of on the up and up. Fremont was pretty good too. Um, Ohio too. Ohio too was pretty good. Um, so I wanted to change that. You know what I mean? I wanted to I wanted to make skyline a part of that conversation. And I, you know, it was blessfully I was able to do that. You know what I'm saying? So. That was, that was that was cool. So uh, so obviously junior year you already kind of touched on the next 
question, obviously you wanted to come in and, and kind of change the narrative about Scott. Yeah. Um, who, who was on your team with you? Like, did you have people that was on the same page as you at that point? As for what? Uh, as far as I mean, we got to turn this shit around. I don't want to be losing. I don't want to be competing for all your championships. Right. So my uh, my junior year, yeah, for sure, uh, Devin A. Leach. Oh, God. Devin A. Leach. I had, we had Donald Gaines. Uh, Denario Tatum. Yeah. Um, I actually spoke to him about the Yeah. Episode. They just got married. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, who else? We had, uh, oh, I had Kwame Vaughn. He came that. He came that. He came my junior, senior year. Senior no, he was there. Cause he was there junior. I think Ransom talked about this. I think he was there junior year. I think that's what it was, something like that. I know I was on the court with him. For, yeah, yeah, I was. I think he was just practicing. Yeah, I think that's that was the case because he transferred out of. When did Ransom come? Ransom came my senior year. My senior year. So that might be. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yeah, came my senior year. So let's talk about junior a little bit. So um, yeah. how did you guys end up? End up uh, uh, I'm gonna go back a little bit. My yeah. my 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 junior my sophomore year. That's when I actually played against. Uh, Kellogg and uh, uh, Q, okay. and my next year they was gone. So it's two years older. Okay. Then my next, my junior year they was gone. Okay. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, because that's when I, that's when I was going Denzel Barnes. Okay. That's I'm from New York, right? Yes. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, we uh, so we started. We was on fire. We was on fire, bro. That's when um, I really start getting my by the third game. Um, I started getting my recognition as far as being one of the, you know, the top players, not just in the OEA, but just, you know, in, around, yeah, Oakland or whatever. Um, I mean, we, we start, I remember this, we started off our season playing Fremont at Fremont. And I was, I was jittery, I'm like, this is it, like, you know what I mean? It starts here, this is me, and at, the, at that time, my junior, I had Kenan Haywood, he was the, he was the senior, he was the, the one I talked about, he had a mid-range, crazy bounce, Kenan Haywood, bro, I'm, Kenna Haywood. Um, yeah, so my first, I remember I had 19 at my first game. First, at, OEO, game. first OEO game. Oh, had nine, it was it was like breaking the ice. After that, I was cool. I think we played, oh, no, we played Ohio the third game. Um, second game, I forgot who we played. I don't know who, but I know the third game is when um, Sports Focus came up and we played uh, Ohio. And this was the stamp. Like, this was a stamp when it was like, you choose somebody that y'all, you know, I gotta watch out for, you know what I'm saying? Respect. Um, and I wasn't even going out for respect. I was, like I said, having fun. But that game was the game that I, uh, I, I broke the ice with, with, a, with a whole lot of teams, coaches, and, you know, just getting the respect around the league. I had, uh, yep, I had, and it was crazy. It was, what makes that game special, um, we was warming up. And I seen, uh, Coach Brown come to the door oh, with the wow. whole team. The bro The whole, my little brother, you know what I mean? The whole Brailhart team came in, was sitting, I'm looking at him, I was like, man, this is crazy. Wait, what year is this? This was uh, just, I think you was there. I might have been there. I think you was there. This is my first time meeting you, actually. Yeah. Is this game at Oklahoma or at Skyline? It's at Skyline. At Skyline. I was at this game. Yep, yep. I was at this game. This when is, I, yeah. This is Eames' eighth grade here. Was it eighth grade? Because you were junior in the next Oh, yep, yep. I was at that game. Yep. Right, that's my first. Yep. Yeah. So I used to always hear about you because when this is funny time I got talking about stuff. Yeah, it's all good. Go so I I grew up on high street. Mm. So everybody, a lot of people from high street didn't grow. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, they all knew me at the boys and girls club. Yeah. Everybody knew me as the Hooper yeah. from that area. Yeah. So when they found out, because I went to the John Sweat first okay. before where King of Payton. Hey, got you. You got see you. what I'm saying? So and that's King of Art from Avery. Yeah. So he, I was a little kid and he was up here breaking all our rims, dunking in like Avery. <laughs> you feel me? Right. But um, so when I, my, my school closed down after my second grade year. Okay. So I had to go to Burrow. And once I'm about to go to Burrow, everybody kept saying, bro, it's just doing that team there and y'all not going to get along. Right? That's all they kept saying. They're like, y'all not going to get along. I'm telling you, y'all not going to get along. I'm like, oh, I'm like you know me, I don't know. Right, 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 right. So the first day, <coughs> the first day, school, I'm sitting in math class, bro, in the quarter, and I see him walk past the door like this, talking to somebody, 
and immediately I remembered him from the East Lake YMCA because we played against each other. He as was kids. playing at the East Lake YMCA. Yeah. yeah, this is when I first started hooping. Yeah. My first team ever. My stepdad is going to sign me up. Yeah. So as soon as I saw him, it reminded me, oh, that his name is he because I, you know, I was right, right. older than him. Right, right. You know, we was all cool, and I'm like. Oh shit, we finna be done. Like my team, <laughs> yeah. one of my a, my rebel teammates, Steve, big Mexican Steve. Yeah. I know he's coming to Braille R2. Oh, so y'all was and then I also know Ken goes to Braille. Oh, yeah, y'all want And then I also know little Charles goes to Braille. Yeah. These are all dudes that I know from the A. Right, you right. See. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, all I'm thinking in my head is, man, we gonna beat the shit out of yeah. Braille. Because that Frick is on Mari, D.Y. Damn, that was, yeah, you damn, that was man? crazy. So, I remember that freaking Braille heart. So much shit to me. Yeah. So yeah. Or DBC and I'm like right. Bulldogs or the Rebels or whoever or SWAT at this time. Or not even SWAT because the brother ended up coming to SWAT. Yeah. So um I see him and immediately of course we get all yeah. we we ain't digging into it a lot. Uh, for but sure. that's for why sure. our brotherhood is so right, hard. Right. to be honest, I told him this the other day. Um me and his relationship, how it was, I learned so much and I literally never told nobody else until I told him right. like two weeks ago. It it made me and him Meeting our, our relationship being rocky, and let's get into it over a little petty stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids. It, it, right, right. Yeah. It both ego, ego field, and right. we both think we that nigga. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, yeah, right. for sure, for sure. And, but when it, when it came to me to transfer to Mac, it made it easier for me to blend in with them dudes because I kind of went through that already. Right. With you see what I'm saying? So right, I knew right. the mistakes I made with him, yeah. like being petty and doing those right. little shit cats should be both between yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah. I didn't do that <laughs> in high school. So it kind of made yeah. me a little cheery, and that's like, for sure, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. I thank him for that like two weeks ago. Of course, that's my God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't mean to kind of go Nah, you good, you good. So you let's good. talk about this Oklahoma game. So we yeah. come to this game, obviously. Yeah, so y'all walk in, man, it was like a fire lit up under my ass. Like, man, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, my coach here, who I, like I, like I said before, I, I respect so much. Um, and honestly, he was a huge part of the reason why I was, you know, successful and confident the way that I was, you know what I mean? Because he installed that in me, took the time to do that for me and all that. Um, yeah, man, the ball tipped up, man. It was just, the rim felt like an ocean. I had seven. I remember you seven threes. That was my first time even ever seen Yeah, high. so it was, I had seven threes, 31. Never forget that. Uh, I do, that is 31. I remember, 31. I remember that game. That's crazy. Yeah, my, my third game in the OEL. And then and that, after that, it was just, it was, was just crazy. downhill. It was. I was just, I was, couldn't wait to, what was it, Tuesdays and Thursdays, yeah, Wednesday, uh, one, Wednesday, something like, yeah, something yeah. Like that, something. I couldn't, I couldn't wait, and it was just, and even, even then, I was just still getting, you know, the, uh, developing my respect around the league, but at the same time, like, I, I wasn't too concerned about it, because only, re- I feel like, the only really v- validation that I really needed is when I went home, you know what I'm saying, I, mm-hmm. Me and my brother, you know, share a room, you know what I'm saying? Bed right here, bed right here. It was just like, every time I would be done eating, go in the room, chop it up about the game, the day, whatever. If I had a game, we're talking about the game, for sure. My brother, man, he always used to tell me, he's just like, shoot, nigga, you raw. And he, to this day, I always tell him, like, he just don't know how much that meant to me. You know what I mean? I feel like, like I said, all the love, it was, it was much appreciated. But that right there, because I looked at it as, like, especially being in Oakland, um, growing up, you can you can either go left or right. It's up to you what you want to do. And I just wanted to be that positive impact to just, you know what I'm saying, make, because my brother, he didn't like Coop at first. Yeah. It, it was crazy. He didn't, he did not like, he was a little rough head running around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even like Coop. That's funny. And he told me he started liking basketball because of me. And it was just like, damn, you know what I mean? Like. I used to always love y'all relationship. Yeah. Like, it, even though it was big brother, little brother, it's like y'all, I, I would watch y'all interact and it was like... He oh, swear he the big brother. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. It was like y'all were equal. <laughs> yeah. Like the way y'all talk yeah. to each other, was like, cause I seen you getting his ass, I seen yeah. him trying to check you before. And I used to be like, yeah, that's dope as fuck. Yeah, to this together. day. And yeah. I allow it though. Yeah, yeah, I was he, say, it wasn't like you shut me Nah, yeah, it's like, not. Like, if you feel like you were saying some real shit, then you would, right. you know, you would... Um, and, I, and again, not to go back to me, the NBA shit, but I'll never forget, you came to one of our NBA games. Mm. And I think that was the first time me play. Yeah. And you and you pulled me to the side and you, you told him you told me and you said, bro, you need to stick with him. Because I was I was already in the AU team, so I was already using my left hand. Yeah. I was already doing That's what bro, when I seen all that, I was like, <laughs> come on man. Like 
You know what I mean? Because I, I had a, I had a partner coming up that's gonna push me. You got into it too. You know what I'm saying, John? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Got into it, but we when we was on that court, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was a trouble. Yeah. It was trouble. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, so how did you guys end up doing that? Oh yeah, junior year. So we we actually started hot, bro. We we went like sixteen and zero, sixteen and zero until we. I think our first loss was against uh, Mitty, Drew Gordon. I think that was our first loss, and this was before the OEO started. This was like the preseason and all that. And we oh, we did pretty cool in the OEO actually. We um I think we won. What was it? Ten games? Yeah. I think we won like six and four maybe something like that. I don't. It, it was something like that. But we was on the winning side. Which doesn't sound. Too appealing, but yeah, yeah it's like, not bad. It's not that bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. So, but, okay, so how was, who did you play AAU with that summer? Did you play AAU? Um, oh, yeah, that's when, oh, that's when AAU was lit. That's when everybody was, you know, bro, who you playing? What are yeah, yeah, yeah. we doing? You know, now, now you're I, in I'm, the I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah. I'm in it. I'm in it. Everybody, the coaches, players, you know, what's good about the OEL, I don't care who, everybody know each other. Everybody, it's like, it's every, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a family. It's a family, because you're going to see each other in the summer, yeah. all, all that. But um, some, I, was, I was bouncing around. I was with uh, Shakur Village. I was with the Rebels, um, uh, Bay Area Magic. Yeah. Bay Area, that, that team was crazy. Um, <laughs> I had Capers on the show. Yeah, Cape, that's my man, Capers. Yeah, Capers. Uh, yeah, so I was bouncing around, just, you know, tournaments and all that. Seemed like I was never home, always going somewhere to play. But um, yeah, so that, that's that's how that went. So how were you coming into? Uh, before we move on, yeah. who else was in the OEL at this point? Because uh, Q and Kellogg. They were gone. Yeah. So um, we already said um, what's his name at the tech, uh, the short uh, Denzel Barnes. Denzel. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a. We can go by schools. Yeah. So schools at Ohio. Ohio, they had uh, from my, I, you, you remember the cat Jabari? Jab, Jabari. Uh, he was a big, he was a play a big man type dude. Um, who else was on Ohio? Uh, yep, they were. Yep. Um, I, for, uh, I know that one of their point guard was Will. His name was. I'm not sure of his last name. He was pretty good. Um, Fremont. Fremont. Shamar Grissom. Blue. Uh, I think Gabe was there. Gabe. Because I. Gabe. I seen Gabe at Fremont once too. For okay. sure. Then, then that's the next year I seen him at Mac. I, I, so I could have. Gabe went to Mac first and then he finished up. Oh, okay. That's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, well, he, well, he was at Mac then. But, but Gabe's a year older than me. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So he probably was at. Either way, yeah. Either way, and then um. They had. They probably had. Fremont had Surge at the time. Surge. They had Surge. Dirty uh, D was gone. Dirty D was gone. Did they have? Booby was probably there. They had Booby. Well, it was a problem. Yeah. Um, I forget the other little uh, point guard. Well, light skin, light skin, and a dark skin one. Um, I can't remember that. Was KP? Is you KP was bef- KP was with um, he was with Tim, I think, at Fremont. Okay. At least a year or two, I believe. Yeah, he was. <coughs> he was talking about him in the yeah. Yep. Okay, so um, what about Castro? Uh, Castlemont, Junior, Chris Oaks, Chris Oaks, um, uh, Josh Acosta. Josh Acosta. He went to he went to he, he went he went Castlemont. Yeah, okay. he he was he was a problem. He he had a crazy Bro, well, I'm like, dude. I seen him in the one time on the Now he he was difficult to stay keep in front of you though. Know? He 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 was. Who did Mac have? Uh, Mac. Blackwell, he was a pest. Uh, T. Wild. T. Wild, uh, Sims. Deron? Yep, Deron Sims. Um, Vinny. Vinny. I care what team Vinny was on, so it was going to be a problem. Yeah, Vinny. Vinny, um, Vinny was a special. Vinny was ahead of his time. And that was, that was somebody, every time we played Mac, I made sure I found him after every game. That's, yeah. that's, that's my brother, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Vinny, yeah, Vinny so love. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we got a yeah. good idea of who was in the way at that time. Yeah. So then, okay, what about, see, how are you coming in the senior year? Is it more so the same shit? Like, man, I want to be better than six months. Right, so yeah, for sure, for sure. And, uh, and now Ransom comes coming in. Yeah. So you guys got a Rant- coach. So coming in the senior year, it was, so we, so we, found, we found out 
that our coach just got fired. So we like, you know, what's going on? What's going to happen? You know, we waiting on our, our coach to come. But before that, it was the AAU. So found out the coach got fired. And this is, um, so now junior year, I mean, going into senior year, um, I had a very successful uh, AAU summer. I had a, I had a great summer. Um, this was, man, this is when uh, colleges started getting involved. Okay. You know what I mean? So colleges started getting involved. Um, they contacted me. They, you know, sending me letters or whatever. The first school I was actually recruited by was uh, was uh, St. Mary's College, Moraga, St. Mary's. Then it was Oregon State. Um, so it was it was crazy. We, we I was a uh, matter of fact was at the MLK. Okay. I was with Skyline MLK. Actually, this is my oh, this is my junior year, I believe. Yeah, I played horrible. Um, <laughs> Before the game, they actually grabbed me and uh, took me into the back, you know, to show me around and all that. It was, it was crazy, yeah. So it, it, it was cool. It was a good experience. It was, a, a, I guess, a, a milestone in my career. Like you're just getting introduced to a college, you know what I'm saying? Having a college coach talk to me, ask me about my future plans and all that, which was great. It was like coming from where I came from, it was just like, you know, I just wanted to hoop. I didn't know I was going to be, you know, none of that. Or I didn't even know Oakland, that's what, you know, Oakland had to offer, like, because I feel like Oakland, man, changed my life, you know what I mean? Even to this day, I'm not in the league or nothing like that, but it changed, definitely changed my life as far as just walking around and getting the respect from being a good hooper out here, you know what I mean? So that's just something I always applaud Oakland for, man, for real, and the people in Oakland, for sure. Yeah, and, um, for sure. yeah. And, and I feel like coming from here, it, it puts a certain attitude in us and a certain mindset. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah, for sure. You know I mean? um, so let's. So how was uh, the coach got fired? So now you got a new coach. Yeah, new coach. That that went pretty smooth. It was kind of it was kind of bumpy, only because it was like just new coach. You know what I mean? And yeah, right, right. And the right, right. That's when you know. That's when you're trying to sign his letter of intent, trying to get your your you know your D1 scholarship going or wherever you you know end up going. Um, so me, when, when Ransom came in, man, we uh, we definitely bumped heads. Not going sugarcoat, we bumped heads for sure. That's because I'm I'm a senior, you know what I mean. I'm thinking I too hot for TV a little bit, you know what I'm saying. Feeling myself a little bit, but he he leveled me, you know what I mean. I, I thank Ransom for that. I appreciate that because I that whole senior year I never was ineligible. I had my grades up, and that kind of set me up for for school, you know what I'm saying. Which was which was great. So he, you know, the the discipline he. It was a huge adjustment, though. Not saying that we didn't get that in the past, but he just enforced it. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it, regardless of the message, when you have a different messenger, I think it yeah. changes the dynamic. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, the, obviously, what was the first coach named Kurt? Kurt, yeah. Kurt, Kurt, you Kurt had a relationship and you knew him a little bit. Yeah. So he gave him a little bit. Yeah. Different. And it was just a new relationship. Right. You just so had now, to get comfortable. It's like, man, now I'm, I'm damn near almost a grown man. Like, right. This point, right. I'm a senior. Right. My whole future, and then you come here with this bullshit. Man, it was, it was something like that. It was like, damn, man. I'm talking to him and Neff. Right, right, I'm talking to all these people, so I'm kind of hearing. Yeah, yeah, it was a whole bunch going on. It was a whole, but we made it through, though. It was cool. It was it was cool. Yeah, because I know you know the guys that you got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. But, um, yeah, the uh, senior year, man, was got the new coach, and then we uh, headed into season, preseason. Did, did cool, blowing teams out, you know what I'm saying? Um, actually... I think we we got out to a good start also in my senior year. That's I think what you it was said in the, yeah, like 14 or 16. Yeah. Same thing like as the year before. I think it was kind of different my junior year, but the senior year that's when we went to 16. I might have yeah, got yeah, that yeah. Yeah, that's twisted. Um, yeah, we was, we man we did a hell of a job. Um, OAL play it got it got different. It got very competitive. A lot of people transferred. Seriously, it was like oh no, who was it? Uh, uh, Mac was always good. Mac was good. Um, so this is what you're trying to get? Oh, 06. 06. I'm trying to think who was in the OEL at this point. That's when Castle was stacked. Oh, they had Benny Rose. Benny Rose, Rose Adam Chavez. Adam Chavez. Uh, uh, Omari was there as well. Yep, yep. Um, they had the guy from New Orleans. Uh, yep. What's his name? I forget. Street, street, street streets. Street. That's crazy. I heard he's still be out here. For, I, 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 I wouldn't know. I, 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 I seen him somewhere. Yeah, I. Somebody. Somebody told me you still That's my boy, though. So we went to City together. Yeah, yeah. So right. we're going to get into it. Right, yeah, right. yeah. Um, So how did you guys, how did you guys end up, obviously, starting off hot? How did you guys end up finishing 
Um, so senior year, it was it was uh, a lot of things had hit me, man. Senior year, it hit me early on, but this is when things started getting real personally, like as far as like at home, um, like just my you know my mom being sick, you know what I mean, breast cancer. So it was it was just a lot to adjust to, and it was a lot on my shoulders because I knew, you know, um, you know me performing well my previous year, and I was particip- anticipated on performing well this year, so I know. I was gonna have the opportunity to go to go to school, you know what I'm saying, get my education paid for it somewhere. Um, and it was it was the decision was hard because you know my mom, I didn't want to leave my mom, you know what I mean. I'm kind of fast forwarding it a little bit, but um, yeah. So as far as that, um, every as far as the oil, yeah, but that that's just really what was going on personally as far as like my mom uh, dealing with that crazy shit. I, I remember, yeah. Obviously, like, I remember that whole situation. Yeah. <clears throat> right, but but not just my senior. That's just I was just becoming a man. You know what I mean? Growing up, realizing what was really at stake and what was really going on. Yeah, it started getting real. So it was just you know just just trying to figure just trying to figure everything out. Like, just trying to just trying to figure everything out. So it was it was right right. And my sister, yeah, my sisters is here by now. So yeah, I'm just trying to just figure everything out, still be that positive role model with me scrambling around doing what I'm doing. Now, my senior year, my little brother is at Skyline now. So that, that was just, as much as the crazy shit was going on, it was my best year, you know what I mean? Because I got to spend it with him. He actually made the team, got to play, helped it, man, he did a good job. Helped us win some games, yeah, for sure. Helped us win some games, you know, played a big part. and um. Uh, as far as like the the season go went, it, it went well. We uh, I, I'm not sure what we it, what we finished with. Did you guys we, make we did make playoffs. We uh, so we had to. You had to be top three at that point. Right? We could have had the top three, but we had the the playing not the playing game. We had to so we had to beat Mac twice. Okay, so you guys won the three then. Yeah. So, so that's to, you play somebody and you play Mac in the championship. You got to beat them twice. Right. Okay. That's what happened. So we got there and we ended up playing Mac. And we lost. One of the best games I ever been a part of. It, it was the game was crazy, as far as the atmosphere, the competition. It, it, it was just. It, it was it, it was cool. It was a good way to. It wasn't a good way to end it with an L, but it was you know what I mean. Just to go out, you know what I'm saying. It was it, it was a hard it was a hard year. To, uh, it, it was cool. It was cool how, how that how that went. So um, after that year, how does it go as far as like college and stuff? <clears throat> So in the middle of my, my senior year, I was already, I'm already going up to uh, St. Mary's to their open runs. I'm, 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 I'm tapped in, I'm locked in, you know what I mean, with You're them. Prospect, so yeah, so I'm damn near, about, I'm about to sign with them. To, with, uh, yeah, so they, you know, it was on the table for me. So um, they had me uh, making sure all my credits was right, uh, just going through the whole process for me to, you know, get, get it done. So at the end, um, I had to, I remember, I, at the end of my senior year, I had to take this night class or whatever. And somehow the credit came, it was like late or something. So I had to get cleared with the NCAA clearinghouse. I didn't get cleared. Mind you, it's like two weeks into school about to start. Two or three weeks to school about to start. And I'm like, I gotta do something. Like, and then so they, um, I talked to same man, I went up there and sat down with them. They called me. I mean, I call me. We, we talked, and they was just like, um, "You got to make a decision. Like, you're gonna have to do a JUCO a year." And I'm just like, "Like, I, I'm like, what? Like, you know what I mean? I got discouraged. I'm like, oh, what the? Fuck? I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Um. So I, I my, I, so every every JUCO in the area was was interested. You know what I mean? To, so I could I could have went anywhere, but I want to go to the best school. Like, you know what I mean? Because I want to get ready for the next level. So. Um, I had that uh, Justin Labar City College had reached out to me, and you know we went to lunch and we talked, and I think the next week, actually the next day or two, I had talked to my dad and my uh, my mom and stuff, and then they were just like, my my dad was really like, here, like City, that, that's what, that's you know what I mean that's the best decision for you, because I feel like they're the best program or whatever or whatnot. Boom, at my city. You know what I mean? I, I hated it. No, I didn't hate the, I hated that I had to go. I thought I was yeah, going yeah, to a D1, you know what I'm saying? The whole experience. Um, 
But now I'm at Konami College, a whole, like, I, I thought I was good, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it got real again. Like, I, I held my own, but it was just like, damn. D1, whew, you know what I'm saying? The Gazaga, you know, bro, it would have, it would have got real for me. Again, I would have been cool, but City College again was one of the best things that happened to me because I was, I was able to prepare. I played right away. I got the experience. Um, I also, I, I was actually, um, I led the team as a freshman in scoring. My first year, I led, led us in scoring um, until my. Uh, my senior season, my sophomore season at City. So, so go back a little bit. I end up. So I went through my first year at City, successful, did cool, went to the playoffs or whatever. <clears throat> and I don't know if any. I mean, I'm sure people know, but when you go to a JUCO, your recruitment opens back up. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean. So any, anybody can try to come grab you. So the the recruitment was crazy. Like I didn't. It was crazy, bro. Like teams I'm watching on TV. You know, Kentucky, USC, Baylor, really? uh, uh, Kansas, uh, and I'm getting I'm getting these schools because they come to see other players, but they see me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not just saying it was all on me. No, but, I know what you mean. Nah, yeah. So I'm I'm getting looks. You know what I'm saying? So that's the name of the game. Yeah, getting getting the looks and shit. It was it, it worked out. You know what I mean? We had a successful team. Really, this my senior season. That's when I was. Uh, at City College, still my second year, because uh, you know we. I, so this is one reason why I, I respect um, St. Mary so much, because they followed me the whole time. Oh, they followed. They, they want like, all right, forget him. I'm gonna, you right. know, go, that's whatever. So, in the middle of my uh, my junior my uh, freshman year, they still was like, you know, we want to, you know, bring you on. Woo, woo. So I don't know if y'all know a guy named Patty Mills had uh, came about. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that was that story. You know what I mean? That was uh, fully respected. You know what I mean? It's the business. Y'all do what y'all got to do. So again, you know, doing my thing in, in, in the college, JUCO college scene. So I had options, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up staying another year at City. And this is the, the year we had uh, Robert Sally, um, Justin Brownlee, um, Brandon Wiley. Uh, no, we we was we was nice, too nice for our own damn good. We didn't win state, so something that we was sh- for sure should have did. But um, we have a plan against them guys though. It, it opened up a lot of doors for me, like a lot of a lot of options for me. Um, we end up we went to the playoffs one game before the, the state championship and lost, and lost to a team that we blew up by thirty two, and lost. Just thought our shit didn't stink, you know what I mean? Just you know you, you know how I go and got in there and got ran. We didn't get we didn't lose by much, but we lost. You know, which we shit wasn't supposed to lose. Um, so at this point, how is recruitment like are you like overwhelmed by recruitment? Because it's probably your first time really dealing with it on this level. Yeah. Um, are you overwhelmed at all? Uh definitely overwhelmed. <laughs> definitely overwhelmed because I didn't you know my humbleness. I don't. I just was like, it was overwhelming because it was a lot of schools for one. Um, a lot of them just you know saying this, saying that, uh, throwing the the scholarships or whatever. It's who offering me, who not, who's serious. Just all that type of stuff going on. It was it's fun right. to be wanted. It's it is. It's, it's, it's a lot. To, it's a lot to go through. It's definitely fun, but um, just trying to figure out what to do. And, you know what's what's best and all that. Uh, it, it, it was just crazy. It was crazy. I got a call from um, this one. So at the end of my my uh, sophomore year, which is a senior year in yeah. JUCO, um, that's when I started receiving calls, like calls. I had got a call from Kentucky. I forgot. I think the uh, it was an assistant though. It wasn't. This one was Rondo was there. Okay. Um, called me. They 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 didn't offer me anything. They was just letting me know they was interested or whatever um, or whatnot. And it was just like, I kid you not. I'm in my room. I'm on my bed. He is right over here. I'm telling him to be quiet. Like let me. I'm talking on the phone. I think I had like a metro or something. Like that. <laughs> so, so man, for real, it was something like that. I'm, I'm I'm talking to Kentucky University. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm like, I just seen y'all on ESPN not too long ago. You know what I mean? So. Like that type of stuff overwhelmed me. Like, and then I got a call from uh, that was two more times um, from uh, USC. Uh, OJ was up there. Um, 
they called me and told me, this how this how real it got. This this is not new. I'm just like, shit, I don't know what to do. This is like, should I, what should I do? I'm asking him, like, you know, like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, what should I do? Um, they called me and, you know, uh, condolences go to out to whoever, I never knew him, but they, they point guard at the time I got into a car accident oh, wow. and passed, bro. You know, oh, so they like, um, yeah, uh, Robert, you know, we, we've been watching you for a while and, you know, I'm just like, I'm like, really? This is the first time I'm talking, you know, I'm talking to y'all or whatever. They're like, hey, can you come up uh, this weekend? USC, bro. I'm just like, I'm like, uh, um, can I call y'all back? You know what I mean? Let me, let me figure yeah, something out. Like, it. I'm like, come up here tomorrow. And I think this is when, um, no, wait, I think, oh, was OJ there? I know either DeMar DeRozan was coming in or something like that, or it was one of them. It was one of them. DeMar graduated. It was something like, he was, okay, well, maybe it was uh, OJ. It was OJ. It probably was him then. So, yeah. Probably yeah, was. It, it probably was. Yeah. Anyway, they needed a point guard. And, you know, I'm a shooter. So, I, I, you know, I really wasn't too comfortable with, yeah. you know, going in as being a point guard. But I'm like, USC, you know what I'm right. saying? So, that had happened. And then this was, I was actually in school. Um, I had got a call from um, Reggie Theus. Okay. He was at the University of Mexico. Mm-hmm. Um, it's crazy. Yeah. Damn. Uh, UNM. UNM. Yeah. Because okay. he yeah. coached at New Mexico State too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. When I went to New Mexico State, his name was. Yeah. Uh, and he had, he, he, he had actually. He I, I'm not, I don't know. Oh, I'm not okay. sure. I know he, um, so, th- and it got real for me. I know, I'm going to bring up his name. I'm sure you're going to remember him. Armand Johnson? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he, so, uh, Reggie, I'm on the phone with Reggie Theus. Um, I'm sorry, this is this is a while back. This was I was a senior in high school. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I let this out. Um, I'm in the coach's office, I'm talking to him. And Ransom like, so what you gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna have him, he's about to fly out here. Reggie Theus flew out here to come watch me work out. Oh, wow. And he pulled uh, uh, Armand Johnson and to uh, come out here to, uh, to, so we can battle, I guess. Because yeah, yeah, he wanted yeah. both of us. To see, to see who was, uh, so we, we played at Skyline or whatever, a little open gym, it went well or whatever. And then we had a private workout, just me and him, at uh, Ojai, I'll never forget that. You went on Ojai? Yep, and I remember. Uh, He's supposed to go to Ojai, right? Yep, okay. yep, we had, uh, Reggie Theus made us play one-on-one. <laughs> i never forget that. I ended up winning, my bad, mine. <laughs> I, I, I ended up winning, I think by like one or something like that. That's my, that's my guy though, that's but yeah. So how did you, what, at what point did the San Jose State thing happen? How did that kind of happen? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, San Jose, so as far as what I was telling you when shit was getting real at home, um, San Jose had called me for, uh, but they, they've been interested. They've been looking at me or whatever, been talking to them. Um, they came, uh, they came to the house. They called, they were like, we want to come, you know, talk to you and your family, what, what not. And I'm just like, damn, all this is really happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, coach is coming to the house. My mom even couldn't even believe it. All the stuff that she was going through, it was like brought joy to her life. You know what I'm saying? So um, they came to the house, you know, explaining, explaining to moms, you know, uh, your center would be getting this, this, this amount of year to pay for his tuition and shit like that. My mom looking at them like, I don't know nothing y'all talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is cool, because I, I know a little bit about it, whatever. But um, I got to tell you, bro, just having them come to the house and see my mom, you know what I mean, uh, her face, especially afterwards, she was like, damn, chew, they want you. This, you know, at mine's be like, she don't know what's going to be. They know they want you. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, what should I do? What you want me to do? My mom telling me, because she know I had the opportunity to leave, to get out of here. She like, um, she like, I just want you to be happy. I want you to go, go play and, you know, do what you do, do what you love doing. And I'm like, all right, but we all know our mom, you know what I mean? Right. So it was just like, all right, mom, I know what you really mean. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get all the way out here. And it was crazy because a little bit after that, I had got a, um, a visit with uh, University of Idaho. Okay. Uh, I got a visit. I went out there, me and Brown and Wiley, excuse me. We went out there on a, uh, they wanted a deal. Both, they wanted both of us. So we went out there. Um, 
went out there. It was a ball, man. They, they treated me like I was a NBA prospect. Yeah. You know what I mean? The whole I hotel was, was done up. Yeah. It was, you know what I mean? It was crazy. When I left there, they slapped the um, the scholarship in my face and like, you know, the letter of intent. Like, if you we want you, if you want to be here, sign. I was like, let me go back home. You know, and uh, you know, discuss it with my family or whatever. And it was crazy because. The coach, they was Adidas at the time. They were switching over to Nike. This one, like the cool, the tight jerseys was coming in or whatever. And um, I'm sitting at the coach's table. He's like, yeah, look, man, this is what we got coming in. He's like, which one would you like to wear? He's like, we're going to have the names on the back and stuff like that. He's like, which one would you want to wear? Long story short, I had um, chose to go uh, sign to San Jose State. I think it was like our second, third game. We played Idaho. And they wearing the judges I picked out. <laughs> it was dope. It was dope. It was it was crazy. Coach showed love. It was it was all love and or whatever. But um, just to rewind a little bit, my uh, the decision I made was basically to stay home. You know what I'm saying? To uh, to be to be with moms. And um, with with all that being said, my mom lived through all those years. Not saying I could have went somewhere else. But who knows what would have happened? But. I don't regret my decision. Um, probably could have, you know, a little, little wiser decision because I went because of, you know, friends as that sounds they stay and you close know what I mean. Yeah, 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 close, but a little bit further, you know, away from home. Um, but before signing, I'm gonna rewind because I want to acknowledge somebody real quick. Um, like that that summer going into college, like the the D1 or whatever, to San Jose State. Um, He's been taking me under his wing a long time ago. Like, I'm going to say, mm, my, this probably senior year, my, this, after, after I graduated high school. Like I can say after I graduated high school, Tim Pierce. Like, because he knew I was, uh, not only I was going to San Jose State, but they know that they, they wanted me or whatever. Oh, he's at San Jose He's at San Jose State. Okay. So Tim used to come pick me up, bro. And like, to go uh, lift weights or go to um, Piedmont to get in ones and drills and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? A shooting, shooting machine, um, all that. So, I, you know, I, I salute Tim Pierce for that. KP. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, KP was up there too. We was doing the ones. This was, t- this was before, I think KP, yeah, this was before KP got into, you know, what he's doing now and all yeah. that. Shout out to KP too. He's doing his thing. Um, yeah, Tim, he used to, uh, this was before we, I even signed to San Ho, but when I signed to San Ho, Coming to get me every day. We ride in the San Ho. Sometimes we'd stay out there, you know, chill. Cause took we had, like, yeah, that's took me under his wing. Yeah, like weight training and all that. I always heard that about Tim Pierce. I've never, I met him like in passing. Yeah. They were like, what's up, bro? My name is yeah, Tim. hella cool but dude, bro. I heard his work ethic is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. You can see now. Like, right. this shit is crazy. So, how, how was that first year going in the San Jose State? Obviously, again, it's, um, it's another, probably another step or something. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was, it was, it was overwhelming because it was like all that I had been through, not that I've just been through hell or nothing like that, but it was just like. I, would, I don't even want you to say it because I tell people all the time, like, trauma, and I, that's just for lack of a better word, yeah. but trauma is relative, you know what I mean? Yeah, yes, for Something sure. Something that can be small to me might be the biggest thing in the world, right. vice versa. Right. So I don't like when people say, right. I, even you're right, you're right, you're right. No, no, you're right. Like, you got a, you got a, you, you got a point. You got a, like, shit. Well, shit affects us differently. Yeah. We're not, we're not taught to deal with the shit that we go through. Right? True, we're true. We're friends and, you know, right. the witness and shootouts and all the shit that right, we right, on a regular right. basis. Right, right, right. Parties getting shot up. Right. And, you know what I mean? So right. Like, Hell yeah. Know, Hell yeah. Nah, you good. You good. Um, you're going, going to San Ho. Um, yeah, it was, it was overwhelming. Just, um, first, just like my, you know, just going to workouts. Um, just acknowledging that I'm at a university, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's a whole different ball game. It's, it's a whole different ball game, and I'm I'm looking at it like this. I'm like, my bro, my mom couldn't pay for this, right. even my, with my dad combined. Right. No disrespect to them, it was just the, yeah. our upbringing, you know Same. how we, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I was like, I'm fucking tremendously blessed to be able to like have this, this opportunity, you know what I'm saying? And travel and play go play basketball you know what i mean go to hawaii go to idaho meet different people it was dope man even within our conference i was 
I played against Wendell McKinnis. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, when I played against Wendell, um, who else did I play? Uh, Kareem. I actually came to that game. Did you? At, um, at San Jose, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you because, probably did. Uh, because at the time, uh, Collins, which was Wendell's <coughs> high school coach at Richmond, yeah. was my high school coach oh, at yeah. Emory. Oh, okay. So, okay. yep, I came to that yep. game at, um, at San Jose when Wendell played. And I obviously had that point in Mexico State, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Yeah. I remember that game. Yeah, um, yeah, like I was saying, I was able to, you know, play against some friends, you know what I'm saying? Especially when we go travel over there, we link up. It, it was it was just it's all around a blessing, bro. All around a blessing. Um on the campus and school part, but as far as like the the basketball part, another level up, you know what I'm saying? It was it was another level up, but luckily City College had really prepared me for that moment. Like it really, because I could say at this time when I'm at San, I'm, I'm grown. Um, I understand the game a little bit better, but I'm still learning because I'm at, I am at a next level, much faster pace. Um, it was, it, bro, it was, it was just a, it was a blessing, bro. It was, it was I, nothing short of a blessing. Um, so this, so your first year at San Jose State, how'd you guys do? Um, we didn't do too well. We, uh, I'm not sure what the record was. So I, I was, I was, I was a little slow. I, I, um, I say around, no, actually I play, I play, for my first year I played pretty well. I was probably averaging probably like seven, eight points, something like that. Just getting, getting the feel of it. Then I, you know, get more comfortable and I start, uh, getting the feel. Then I start starting. <clears throat> I think we played against uh, Menlo College. It was like a, a preseason game. I went for like 19, or like four threes or something like that. What had got me to to get more playing time and start starting was um, knocking down shots. Like, you know what I'm saying? I started knocking down shots consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I didn't shoot, I'm coming out. Like, and this was like the middle of the season. And um, other than that, like, it, it, I, at San Jose, it was like, and it was kind of frustrating because I felt like I was not necessarily a robot, but it was just like they just wanted me to shoot. But I'm like, man, I can, I can do so much more. You know what I mean? But you know how that be when you, Trust me. <laughs> you know how that be. So it was just like, I would, you know, I would do it a little bit in practice. And it'd be cool sometime, but you know, but when it works, when it works. But, you know, with me being the shooter at the school, I was able to accomplish some things. So it was, it was pretty cool for me. It was cool. So what about, what about that? <clears throat> Tim was there my first year. Excuse me. <clears throat> Tim was there my first year, um, and that was cool. That was, that was fun. He uh, was doing his thing. I was on the court with him plenty of times. Um, yeah, Tim was there my first year. Then my next year, that's when um, I was with uh, Adrian Oliver. Okay. Adrian Oliver, Justin Graham, and I was with uh, um, Alim. Yeah. Uh, who else was on there? You know, uh, a little Lance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, little yeah, Lance. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah, Man, that. with that boy every day at school. But um, yeah, senior year it was it was more, I was more settled in. You know what I mean? I was more settled in. I was more of a I had a voice, more of a voice. Not return. not necessarily returner. Yeah, more know. more of a leader, uh, leader role with amongst the group that was leaders like me, AO, Agent Oliver. Uh, Mac Peterson. Oh, you know, you know Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mac. Know yeah, we we had a few cats on there. Um, How'd you guys do that year? Uh, my last year, we did a lot better. We did a lot better. Um, I was playing great. I had, uh, I was averaging like 16. Oh, shit. Averaging about 16. Um, we had a lot of attraction of NBA scouts coming. Not, you know, not necessarily because of me, but AO was getting a lot of looks for the league. Which was cool. It was good for everybody, you know. What I'm saying to get, you know, have company like that. <coughs> um, yeah, I end up. Uh, I think I, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, but I, I, I think I still hold the record for most threes made in one season at San Jose State. Oh, shit. I made uh, 73 in one season. So every game I was like four to five threes, oh, and it was just it was just easy, bro. It was just like. I don't know, it was, you know, not, it wasn't even necessarily plays. I just knew how to, you know what helped me out? 
my senior year, my junior and senior year, it was my spacing. Just knowing the floor, like you know what I'm saying, knowing what just knowing how to play without the ball. The king of Rip Hamilton, Steph Curry, you know what I'm saying, people like that, Ray Allen. It's crazy because like I had to learn how to, once people know you can shoot, you yeah. have to figure out ways to sneak in little spots mm-hmm. and figure out little little ways to get yep. and, and then that's why I mean when I would play with other guards to pound with the ball. I yeah. Because yeah. I'm only gonna be over for us for Right, right. And you gotta right. get it to that's real. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's like, real. Like, hey, bro, get off the ball. Right. Bro. Like, for real. The air out there. For real. Um, so that's dope. So, so after after your senior year, obviously, is, um, what, what are you trying to go pro at this point? Or are you kind of going to focus on, like, where's your mindset at this point? So after uh, my senior year at San Jose, um, I was definitely, I, I felt like I perform, <laughs> performed well enough to get to get a job somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, when I when I was done, when the season was over, I had spoke with a few, with a few people, but I spoke with this one particular agent um, out in uh, Poland. Okay. <clears throat> spoke with him, and things was going things was going pretty well. I thought I was you know that was I was gonna try that out, but some somehow man the the communication went not there. Everybody was falling out. Even people I'm not gonna say any names. People that was like you know I'm gonna call them. You know you know yeah, how that yeah. go. I'm a, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna highlight you, and I was, I was still on doing what I needed to do, working out and shit, and trying to make little tapes that I can send out. You know what I mean? Hitting my coaches up for my tapes to put a little highlight reel together, um, and bro, it, it just it just wasn't in the cards, I guess. You know what I mean? I, I can say I did what I needed to do. You know what I mean? I, I stayed working out, um, all that just to try to get a job overseas. I, I just told myself I, I, I feel like I'd never be able to. I feel like I made made it to until I play on the pro level. You know, I played the semi. You know, I, 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 that's all. But no dis no disrespect. But it's just I know where I belong. You know what I mean? So, but and it, so me getting older, I definitely feel like I made it because the people I affected, the people that, and these is people. I'm not only talking about the wheelchairs the Justins, right. you know, the the Danglers and nothing like that. Um, just everybody. But them particular people have spoke to me on on some some side shit and was just like, bro, you was you know what I mean? You you know what I mean? Bro, I, I can't even tell you. I felt like what that means to me is like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like nah I ain't make it but it inspired y'all in some way and I ain't trying to take no credit for nobody. You know what I mean? Success or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Where it's just like for just to, just for them to, to just being acknowledged in that sense and that matter it, that, that shit means everything to me because I'm I'm able to kick back, chill and watch Dame on TV, watch Will on TV, and I'm just like my like, these little niggas. You know, you know, watch, I'm gonna see these niggas in the summer. You know, yeah. shit like that was just like this, this is my and like you know I work with kids and it's like. We I had a game on. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, they was like, yeah, right. I was like, yeah, right. like, okay, you don't believe me, but just be able to like play joke around with them like that to somebody that's really, you know, putting on for this city, man. Like the shit is is amazing. Even uh, Juan, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's the, it's the Jared, you know what I mean? Everybody, but the shit is it's. It's a blessing, bro. And I, and I, it's crazy something about Dame. I, I remember we had went to a workout over in uh, Berkeley with, um, I forget his name. Raymond. Raymond. West Campus. West Campus. That's where it was at. That little box. Oh, man, it, get, it got real in there. They make men. Bro, I kid you not, bro. The first time I seen Dame in there, bro, I'm yeah. like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, it, 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 was, it was something crazy to see. And just see him now, like a lot of people be like, bro, I'm just like, bro. I, I'm just, we got more to, it's more to come. One thing about that, man, it's more to come. Like me, you know, because I played with girls under that. Yeah. So, they him and PJ was one year older than me. And just watching him, he always played with a chip on the mm-hmm. shoulder. And that's why, like, when they talk shit to him in the league, mm-hmm. I'll be like, bro. Yeah, don't do that. that. Oh, don't do it. Like, he, don't do that. Because I remember when we was little, <clears> Josh <throat> always said, uh, I, don't, I don't remember Josh's last name, but Josh was the more. Yeah. He always said, he was the best friend. Josh was that nigga. Mm-hmm. Josh, Josh was nice, bro. He was just different. But Dave used to always feel like he was the best. He didn't give a fuck with nobody. Yeah, yeah. He used to always be like, 
yeah. Yeah. Right. And at that point, Dan was really known as the catch and shoot guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He would just be shooting from hell far or whatever. Right. But he really felt like, I'm right. like, this is my team. Like, I'm the best. And their team was hella good. That's great. And it's every, every step of the way, I could just see Dan and then watch him. I used to always watch him in the middle of the way. So it was like, Oh, yeah, that was dope to see, too. Yeah, that was dope. So I'm seeing him like, <clears> that was dope. And then he's leading the league in the country and scoring. I'm right. Like, yeah, bro, that was, it was just like, damn, all that shit was happening, it was crazy. What, what the Will, about Will, I see Will all the time, he always, you know, just like you, like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. you was nice, Will. I'm like, bro, stop it, stop it, stop it. What is, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's love, it's love, tell myself, yeah, up. <clears throat> it's love, but, bro, when I, so I was at the game, I think he was on Mac, I think. Okay. That game, y'all won it at the buzzer at Ohio. No, I wasn't there. You weren't there? Okay, so that that was that was a, that was a game. Dame hit that yeah. Game Dame Dame at that damn near half court like what? The memo hit that. Yep, it was crazy. You know they showed that game on TV for like. Mhm. That was that was one of, that was one of the classic to, games. Yeah, they used to show that game like. That was for sure a classic later. game. But just seeing Will, so when I when I used to be seeing, I used to be hearing about him though. Yeah. Being out the way, he don't see who raw in the oil now. So I used to be hearing about. I went to check him out a few times, bro. It was just. Nothing other but the dog in him, bro. Yeah. Just his his will to to be will, but yeah. I don't know if I can explain it any better than that. Like, but it was just it was just something different about it, and he wasn't go he wasn't go sit down or take this loss until he get that win. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why he was able to be blessed to play on the NBA team and still gonna have the opportunity to. You know what I'm saying? So he was on the roster with LeBron. Yeah, bro. <laughs> This shit, that shit makes me happy though, yeah. genuinely. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny you say that. I might even cut this part out, but just yeah. brother, brother. Obviously, I had a talk with him a few months ago. Like, bro, you gotta get back to Will. And you're not even Will. Yeah. Like, so you know him, know him. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I'm just, I don't. Yeah, no, nah, but I'm telling him, like, bro, you gotta get back. Exactly what you're saying. Yeah, you're bro. Like, yes, bro. It's like, bro, you, you wanna get back in this league, you gotta get back to me. You, bro. He can't. And, you. Bro, he can't. He's already known. Yeah. He's. A, he's and oh, who's on? Like, we'll we'll, we'll Okay. Yeah, nah, that's, 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 you know what I'm saying? Let's bring him up and see what's, what's going on now. And even, even, even Dave, like, when I first started my training shit, and I've said this on camera before, when I first started my training shit, yeah. and I'm at work where I don't know if it was far or so I'm like, my, and I drop like a video or something, and like my phone is blowing up. Right? Yeah. Now, which I know, I kind of do it on purpose. Right. I know it's going to blow, so I'm, I'm in my, but it's vibrating like over and over, so I look at it, and I see it dang me. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck you want? Like, not like that. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, we talk and we see each other. Right, right. Like, suddenly, yeah. Well, you know, I'll text him here. We, we'll chop it up just for a second. Right. And he goes, like, hey, where you going to be at Sunday? With, uh, you want me to gym Sunday with the kids? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm going to try to pull up. Yeah. And he didn't make it, right? He right, didn't right. make it. But just him just the doing that, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that just shows you what kind of person. Like, right. I said, me and Dave don't talk every day. Right, right. Like, I, you know, I'm the type of person I get like, <laughs> Yeah, for sure. That's the but same I, way I am. When same I way. Hit him, he responds. Yep. You know what I mean? Same with me. Same he with me. Damn, that's crazy. Keep. Damn, my bad. Kiwi. Yeah. Shit. Bro, I just talked to Kiwi yesterday. Whew. Yesterday. Talking about a problem. I mean, but, but that though, and this is what I want to say when you say how much it makes you, how it makes you feel, you know, yeah. humble and grateful when we acknowledge you and, you know, you're just over. Right. I don't think you realize that you, like, you have your little brother. Right? Yeah. You do have your little brother, yeah. who's my brother. Right. Me, right, right, right. But you also have us as your little brother. Yeah. Now, I don't think you really fully realize yeah. that. And you know what? I didn't. You did? But, I, but, but now I do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Not for sure, for sure. Now I do. But back then, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't. Bro, it was just, I was so, not like I was just so tunnel vision. I, didn't, I just didn't really know niggas was fucking with me like that. I, I know what you mean. Again, it wasn't a thing. We weren't always in your face. To yeah, yeah, you. right, right. But behind your back, we gave you the love. So and that's, that's the that's now, when we see you, it's like, yeah. nah, nigga, you was nice. Yeah. We could be at the bar, <laughs> you might judge, bro. And I'm like, nah, I just want you to know, like, nigga, you was yeah. my favorite. And, and I said this to uh, uh, Coach Watkins yesterday. I have so many, so many of you guys are my favorite for different reasons. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, for sure. I love that because he was a pure point guard. Yeah. I love Kellogg because he just didn't give a fuck. Right. Kellogg was going to play Kellogg. I love your game because it was just effortless, bro. Like I never, I felt like I've never seen you move full speed. 
<laughs> and, and, and I took that from God. So God yeah. And you know, I studied the game at, from a different uh, yeah. way. It's like, yo, the angles you took to get your shot off. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I studied that shit watching when I was younger. And it made it easy for me. Like, nobody was talking to get my help. I learned that from you. You feel Man, me? That's dope. The pull back between the legs. Yeah, I it's a little space. You see what I'm saying? That that was one of your go-to moves. Yeah, that's what it was. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, because right. Because I was watching you so much. And I'm right. Like, and I used to steal from all you. Yeah, that's what sure. made me. That's you supposed to. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. I was a student at that age. Right, for sure. I, like, I used to watch Chew in and out of the nigga like crazy. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> feel me? Like, I do all your shit because I was. Yeah. And, and don't get me wrong, I didn't even watch you that much. Yeah. But when I did, I was locked in. You see what I'm saying? Like, again, my first time coming to watch you play, you dropped 30. Yeah. So I'm all the way down. What the fuck is this nigga? I know him <laughs> yeah. and you and them. You know what I mean? But right. that, so that that's just why we do what we do and then like I said we talk about you guys all the time when you know when y'all not around right because y'all older than us yeah, so yeah. Man, and that's why I know all these cats and I don't I knew you obviously because of Keen right whatever, right but them I don't really know but um <clears throat> so obviously the pro thing didn't work out mm. and then um but how did you get to work with the kids was that like a conscious thing or did you kind of stuff so yeah man so um working with kids I think it was just it was just natural for me be only because this how you looked at me, I looked at somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, I want to be that somebody for somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and it, it could it could be a, a basketball coach or, right. you know, working with kids as a whatever. You know what I mean? Just working with kids, period. I just wanted to like, especially coming up where we come from, Oakland, you know what I mean? We, like I said, we can either go this way or that way. You know what I mean? We can make, it's our choice. I, I want to be somewhat of a positive ener I mean, energy effect on these kids to go the right way, man. This this is like I told talking about the look on my mom's face when, when I got that scholarship offered to me. Like that shit that, that was one of the best moments of my life because I was able to for one go to college. I was the first person in my family to go to college. That that's num that's number one, you know what I'm saying? But to get it taken care of, you know what I mean, on on to because of playing a sport that I love to play. You, is what, yeah. how, how, what, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't get no better than that. You know what I mean? I, I, I remember my first thing on visit and watching my mom light up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. even though. Know, you you, you you're good, for sure. Exactly yeah, you, that shit, I'm man. I'm one of those people to where, like yourself and me, like, the only motherfucker I care about, not to even call her a motherfucker, but the only person to pay and I care about right. is my mom. Right. My dad loved my pops, but he can say whatever he wants. Yeah. If my mama don't agree, then I right. you know, I'm going <laughs> Right. Everybody else can disagree with me. It's like whatever. But my right. mom, I got a really kind I try to be on the same page with mm -hmm. her. And I knew you guys' relationship with moms and everything. And, you know, she was such a beautiful person. Right. A beautiful yeah. soul. Always treated me like a son. Mm -hmm. You know, when I would come, come over, we would come pick him up and yeah. Um. So, yeah, that, that, yeah. that's super dope. Obviously, she raised two amazing uh, young men. Man, I appreciate you got, that, bro. You got one sister or two? Two sisters, two and we got so we got a, a brother on my on my dad's side, and we got two sisters. Okay. Yeah. So Laura Rashad, and Jamisha, and Janique. Okay. And then yeah. you're the oldest. I'm the oldest. Him. And then Jamisha, else. Janique, Rashad. Jamisha's the one I, I've met. Yeah, that's the tall one that was hooping was, a little bit. So she was living with you guys. Like she was little. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah that's when I. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when I was seeing when I was yeah. around. Um, yeah. So what else do you got going, man? Is there anything else specific that you want to touch on? Oh uh, man, right now, super man. Dope, super dope story. Obviously, I know a lot of this stuff. But yeah, for sure. That I learned, that I didn't know. For sure, yeah, yeah. Um, what's, what's some fun facts before I get into what's been going on lately in my life, man? Oh, before, before when I first, uh, you probably can add this. When I, when I moved to um, Brookdale, mm -hmm. um, I felt like I changed the culture of Brookdale because I had got a, a basketball court and we put it in the back of our driveway. When I tell you it, it, it brought our whole, not just Brooklyn, but I feel like the whole community together. Like we used to have little three on three tournaments. We used to, yes, you know what I mean? We used to have little, we out there to, we didn't even have no light really. You know what I'm saying? We out there eight or nine o'clock, going to house to eat, try to come right back outside. But that, I feel like that, if, if you didn't want to hoop, I feel like you, you kind of gained the love for it then. Like coming from, we used to play against the other block to see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Just little stuff like this, fun stuff after school. Um, yeah, man, it was just it was just a good good family oriented hood block, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? It was it was all love, you know, 
friends going to fight, we're going to argue what and all that. What I loved about them is they, they obviously supported you, but I didn't see that. But I yeah. saw the way they supported him. Yeah, for sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the, for sure. I like the 30s was behind him. Yeah, for sure. Like, that whole little there is. Like, I would be coming to people like a practice or some. Cause me, and, me and he played on so many teams yeah. together with Swat, St. Jarlin, Abrell, obviously. <clears throat> I'll be coming to pick them up for practice and drop them off in there. Me, what's up? Like, right. like you're a celebrity on the block. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so, that, yeah, that, I always love that because y'all all stood and rock with each other. Yeah. Uh, um, anything else that you want to talk um, But as far as, uh, you know, the current me and what's going on, um, just working, man. I'm, I'm right now, I'm a youth case manager. Uh, working with, i uh, got a caseload of about six kids, six to eight kids, ages from 10 to uh, 18. Um, most of them is older than that. I got like one ten year old. And just man, just, you know, being I look at it as I'm not just being a big brother, you know what I mean? Just helping them share my experiences with stuff I know. Um I got a few kids that's just entering their freshman year of college. It's probably kinda of difficult because of the pandemic and stuff that's going on, but um doing well, wasn't doing so well in the beginning. You know, I, I got in there and kinda of deterred some stuff and it's 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 on a, it's on the up right now, man. Just helping these kids it brings me joy. Um, they trust me, um, which is which is excellent, man. It's, it's great. Um, I just had my first my first child, my my, my daughter, Congrats, Congrats. Kyla Anne Marie Owens. That's Love you, baby. <laughs> uh, she uh oh, her father, man. It's 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 I can't even I can't even explain it, man. It's just it's, it's un, it's yeah, bro. It's just. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm thinking about it right now, actually, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's amazing, bro, just uh, watching her grow. She, she'll be two months uh, on the 27th next week. Um, yeah, so it's, it's cool, bro. It's cool. I'm, I'm, and I just, it's funny because uh, my son and I was just at work and yeah. FaceTime. He's telling me because he got his first report card. Oh, first grade. damn, that's dope. So he, uh, he got some toys and stuff, so he called me. I'm actually going to pick him up. Yeah. But I know exactly what you mean, but like yeah. that's, and that's why I can't wait till she starts talking. And right, right. That's going, that's going to be crazy. If you, if you see the way me and my son interact, like yeah. we're like best friends. That's that. That's, like, that's, it, he makes me do some of the most corniest yeah. shit, but I have the most fun doing it. Right. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. What sucks about the whole pandemic right now is this is going to be the first year <clears> we're going to dress up together. Ah, uh, yeah. And we not we can't. I, I, I'm still going to try to figure out when I see him tomorrow. I ask him what he wants to do. With yeah. Him. Still just get dressed right. up. You know, take pictures or whatever. Yeah, for sure. But that, it's a love that you can't, you know, and I'm, I obviously have another one on the way. Yeah, congratulations her, to her that too, bro. Thank congratulations. You, um, but yeah, man, that's dope, man. Congrats yeah. on all of you, Appreciate it. I saw you post it, I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm really excited for you. Man. It's dope, man. It's, it's fun, though. It's fun. And it's it's uh it's crazy, man, because what I'm learning, like, I, it's, it's still fresh to me. I'm still new. Um. To the day I die, I'm gonna be a good father. I'm, I'm gonna be a great father. But I think what a lot of people misunderstand or mis mislead, I'm I'm a happy father. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's something you want to do. Something I want to do. Good. You know what I mean? It's something that I look forward to doing. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Like I said, I'm still new. <clears throat> but it's just I, what I. I it's fun, bro. Yeah. I, I, it's just hot. It was crazy. I've been wanting to say this on the show, but I haven't said. It. Yeah, just because I was thinking at the right time, and I feel like now it is. Yeah. When it comes to kids, right, um, my son in particular, like watching him grow, right, yeah. to this, he's six now. So I'm literally, six, yeah, yeah, so I'm literally just watching him, like his personality. Right. And, and, and the way I approach it, I try to, like, I, there's certain stuff that happened to me growing up. I'm not saying my mom did anything mm -hmm. specific, specific right. or anybody in the specific, these are little things that I remember that used to trigger me. Right. And I try to make sure I don't make those same mistakes with mm -hmm. myself. And it, what, it's funny because the more I'm around young kids like that, right, it makes me, I don't want to say dislike adults, but yeah. it makes me feel away because being around my son just shows me how, how innocent kids are born. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, for even, sure. even when a kid might say something like, like if a little white kid would say, hey, hey mommy, look at that black guy. Mm -hmm. like, they don't understand that that's yeah, offensive, that, right? So right, I would never take offense. Right, right, like, right. But I see way, that a lot, actually. Yeah, in, a way, a, lot. in a way, we kind of teach our kids how to lie, steal, manipulate, and 
You see what I'm saying? Like, we, that's talk behavior. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Talk like, behavior. You see what I'm saying? And it's right. like, fuck, well, because my son right now, he's not going to lie. He's going to tell you. Right, what it is. God told the truth. If the, hey, big boy, do you want to go with this person? No. I'm going to stay with you. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But if, if then I'll be like, hey, you can't say that in front of yeah. me. But I don't do that to them. Yeah. I don't take his voice away. Say how you feel. Let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and, and I brought this up to say, it's just, man, we got to be careful of the stuff that we instill in our kids. Absolutely. Because, for sure. Because I can't teach you how to lie and then get mad at you. When right. You lie, lie to me when you turn 16. Right. You know what I mean? That's real. Because I taught you how to do That's it. real. You didn't come, nobody else taught you how to do that but me. I right. So if, if I do something like, hey, don't tell, don't tell your mommy that I bought you this mm-hmm. candy or something. Like that's teaching mm-hmm. your kid how to lie. We don't even realize. And don't yeah. get me wrong, I'm not saying parents do it in a malicious yeah. way. It's not consciously. We, sub- we subconsciously do yeah. it. It's like, then we get mad when they're 14 and they lying all the right. time. Right. It's like, so that, that was just a side note that yeah. I don't want to talk about with camera. That's, that's, right. No, that's real, for sure. Yeah. That we um, all can use. Shit. Yeah, for real. For real. Um, so, uh, fatherhood, mm-hmm. going great, working with kids, going great. Yeah. That's dope, man. I, I, I don't want to say I'm proud of you because I, you know, obviously you nice. did a mature ass person since I've been knowing you yeah. and you know take care of business. Appreciate that bro. Like a, I don't want to say a father figure, but like I said earlier, a big brother to yeah. so many people more than you. And I'm even sure like people like the twins, uh Nev, little Charles, yeah. uh Imani and all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all feel <coughs> this obviously the same way because right. you're the big brother. Like I said, all these youngsters and you can be real obviously them you, you know you spend more time with but uh again I just want to say thank you. Man, thank I, thanks for having me, bro. Oh, of course, man. Thanks thank, for having thank me. Thank you for the stuff that, you know, we've had the talks in the bar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether we're drunk or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, sure. you know, we text here and there. We check out each other's it's love. Always love. So I just again want to say thank you for coming down. For sure. Me, uh, first of all. Second of all, thank you for being you. Man. Thank you for instilling the stuff that you instill in your younger brother because obviously that's a bond that me and him will be for a lifetime. Whether yeah. we talk every day or not. Right. Um, that's the beauty of it. Right, right. Thank you for, uh, you know, inspiring. Thank you for showing, like, you know, uh, showing the way. You know, obviously, you you didn't make it to the, you know, pro or league, yeah. neither did I, but obviously, we're both still comfortable doing well. Right, you right, know what I mean? right. So, that, again, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for coming down. Anytime, bro. Appreciate you. Of course, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Anytime.